So welcome back everybody, Mike here. Today was a wonderful day, and you know why? Because it's the first day in like four or five days that it hasn't rained. Now tomorrow night they're saying it may snow a little bit, like an inch or two. I'm not sure, I don't think we'll get much, but it just won't quit. I mean, eventually it will dry up. It always does, but uh, I'm just getting a little impatient, I guess you could say. I got a ton of projects lined up. I got all this equipment here, and all it does is rain, and everything's a muddy, muddy mess. But like I said, it'll turn around. It always does. I just have to uh, concentrate on other things until that day comes. Oh, if you hadn't seen the last video, I'm going to put that right here. Uh, that video is pretty cool, and there's a lot of questions in the comments on that video on how long it took to shoot that video. It took about three hours to shoot it, and about two and a half hours or so to edit that video. I put a lot of work into it, but I think it worked out well, and everyone in the comments seemed to like it, and uh, their kids liked it, and things like that. So if you want to check that out, if you didn't already see it, or and share it with your friends, it's a nice video, kind of entertaining. So anyway, today I'm going to split a little bit of firewood and I want to try out this uh, little dump trailer, hooking it up to the rear remotes on the RK37. I did a video on the uh, RK by King Cutter dump trailer. I'll put that video right here. And how, how that trailer dumps manually. Well, today I hooked it up to the uh, RK37. I'm going to split a little bit of wood here and uh, just kind of test it out with the rear remotes, see how it works there. But I think it's a pretty sweet little setup. So uh, I'm going to get busy. So that took about 35 or 40 minutes to split that. I'm thinking it's about a uh, third of a cord, one face cord is what we call that around here. So all I had to do to hook this up was this. There's one hose right here. Take this quick coupler apart and it was hooked to this. That goes to the manual pump on here. So all you do is disconnect that and it came with uh, this hydraulic hose. It's a little long for this setup, but I just zip tied it here. Plug that into there, then right into the rear remote on the back of the tractor. And then you can work it with this lever right here. I'm going to fire it up and uh, try it out and see how it lifts with the load on.
So I did that with three different engine speeds. The first was 1,000 RPMs, then 1,500 and 2,000 RPMs, and it works fantastic. I will use this trailer an awful lot. Right now I have it hooked up to the RK37, which I don't think you've really seen yet. Saw it a little bit in the last video, but uh, I'll give you a quick look at it, but eventually I'll do a uh, walk around video on this and show you all the features of it. So here's just a quick look at the RK37. Like I said, I'll do a uh, walk around video of this in the next couple days. Uh, but this one's a shuttle shift. I love that flat floor and the fact that you can get on it from both sides. So the dump trailer hooked up to the rear remotes works perfectly. Can't wait to really use this thing when it dries up. I keep saying that in every video, it just never dries up. Speaking of that, what's the weather like in your area? Comment below, let me know where you're from and what the weather's been like and how your spring is so far. But once the weather finally does turn around, which I'm sure it will because it always does, I am going to be a firewood gathering fool with this little dump trailer. So that's it for today's video. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please click subscribe and hit the like button, share them with your friends. Thanks.